Hi, this is Trailers from Hell, and I'm George Hickenlooper, and you're about to see a trailer from Andrew Stone's The Last Voyage, the ultimate in cinema verite and location shooting. And here it is. Wow, blowing up the Ile de France. Now, I remember this, I saw this picture first in black and white on my grandmother's television. It was, it was about 1970, 71. I was five or six years old. And this film just just blew me away as a six-year-old to see a ship, actually, a real ship sinking. And um, it had a real profound, I think, there's something very iconic about the film because it's an actual famous ship sinking. And, you know, obviously, clearly, Andrew Stone was influenced by the, the neorealists and wanting to shoot on actual locations. It really pays off in spades in this picture because you have this incredible maritime disaster and they're actually sinking an ocean liner, the Ile de France, to make the picture which I read the, the French government wasn't too happy about that, so they made them change the name to the Clarendon. And um, I just remember the images of water pouring in. There's something very tactile about the film. It's, um, y you know, what's wonderful about it is that because they're shooting on a real, on a real, in a real location, that, the, the, that sort of makes up for some of the weaker story points in the movie or some of the weak characterizations. I mean, George Sanders' captain is a bit of a, an archetype, sort of the John Smith Titanic kind of character. And, and, and the fact that it was shot on, on this real ship, really sinking really, with real seawater pouring into it, made it really sort of rise off the screen. And it had a, just as a filmmaker myself, it just, um, these images sort of carried with me for years and years. And I became obsessed with actually maritime disasters because of this movie and disaster movies in general. And and it, for me, it, the imagery and the, the iconography of this ship sinking, as I said, had a kind of a tactile quality to it that made me really kind of want to reach out and pull these images out of the screen and made me kind of salivate as a filmmaker that I could actually, I mean, I'm talking in sort of very ethereal terms, but it, for a sort of a, uh, you know, what we consider B-plus movie today, uh, and it's sort of campy, but, but simply Stone's decision to shoot it on an actual location, actually sink a ship, had a sort of rose the aesthetic above what you know we normally consider kind of a B disaster picture. It's really one of the best disaster films because of its realism and it, its authenticity and its kind of cinema verite quality. And George Sanders, one of my favorite actors from Rebecca, really one of the more profound pictures in my childhood.